Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is David and in this video I'm going to play a solo game of Heat Pedal to the Metal. Just to show you how that's played and I will take competition against 5 other Legend drivers. So I'm going to use the Legend module of this game and also I will add in the Weather and Road Condition module. So you also get to see how that works. So let's see if I can make it first to the finish line. This is my starting deck of cards. This is how I get the move in the game. Three number ones, three twos, three threes, and three number fours. And I have to shuffle them. Also, I will add the basic upgrade cards. There's also an upgrade module, a garage module, where you get to draft all kinds of cards. But in this case, I'll just stick with the basic cards. One giving me five speed, one giving me zero speed, and one heat already. And heat is key in this game, because once you get these cards in your hand, they are trash. You cannot use them, and you need to get rid of them to have full potential of your hand. But first we have to decide on which track we're gonna race. There are four tracks, Great Britain, Italy, France and USA. USA is the advice track to start with for your first game, but I've already played some games, so I'm just gonna randomly decide which track we're gonna race. Great Britain being number one, then is France number two, Italy number three, and USA is number four. Oh, and I'll throw number four, so we're gonna race in America. Here we go. The racetrack decides how many heat cards you will get in your engine and how many stress cards. In this case it will be 6 heat cards. And I will get 3 stress cards. If I play a stress card I don't know the speed I'm going. It will be somewhere between 1 and 4. And these 3 go into my deck. For the starting order of the race, we'll just shuffle the cars randomly. I will be the red car. Something like this. Then we will add the weather module. So we have these tiles to decide what will happen at the start of the race. So we have heavy rain, mist, clouded, sunny, snow, or just light rain. The weather effects might occur on some parts of the track, but they will also do a little change in your startup. So let's see what the weather will be. Just randomly we'll take this one. So it will be raining. And this one I don't like. I have to put already three of my heat cards into my draw deck. Oops. So one, two, three. I have to shuffle this into my deck. So now my deck is ready to be shuffled. Then we're gonna add the road condition tokens. There will be various effects. There are four corners on this track. We're gonna race two rounds, shuffle these And we're gonna put one at each corner at the booklet sign. So the first one is this one. This one says between this corner and the next corner. So all this way. You don't have to pay a heat to do a boost. So that's kind of nice. Then the next corner over there will have plus one. So this corner goes from max speed three to max speed four. So we can go a little faster. Then we have here a corner of speed 2, Ooh, that will be number 3, speed 3, so we're also getting a little faster. Then we have a corner over there, the last one, plus 1, if you go too fast through the corner, you have to pay 1 extra heat. So the weather effect of the tile, of the weather tile itself is not part of the game. That would only be used if we got this tile into the race. Then you have to check what the weather says, what will be the effect of the tile. Then all the other five cards will be driven by these cards, these legend cards. One card will tell all five cards what to do. So I have to shuffle this. I've played solo twice. 
and both of these games I was the very last rider to pass the finish line so I'm afraid it's gonna happen again so don't watch this video if you want to see how to win this game just simply how it's played solo against the legend drivers but also if you're playing with two or three players and you want to have some more cars on the track you can use this legend deck and add a random number of cars to the grid then we're ready to start I will draw the top seven cards of my deck Heat cards are useless, I cannot do anything with them, so they are slowing down my possibilities. So these are the cards I can play. 3, 2, 1 and 0. If I play a 0, of course I will not move forward. But these are the number of spaces you get to move. How many cards can I play? That is decided by the gear I'm in. So currently I'm at first gear, so I can only play one card. However. At the start of your turn, you can decide if you want to gear up or gear down. So if I go one up to gear two, now I can play two cards from my hand. Going up or down one slot is for free. I can move up to two gears or down by paying one extra heat. So I could go from one to number three, but then I have to pay one heat. And if I have to pay heat, I have to put one heat card from my engine into the discard pile. And so it will finally come into my deck and into my hand. But since we're at the start of the game and the legend drivers are going really fast, especially before they're entering the corner. So I think I'll take the gamble right away and take one heat to move straight to third gear. It's a little strange to start the race in third gear, but for now it's possible. So my turn and your turn when you're playing this game contains of nine steps. The first two steps all players do all together simultaneously. After that we're going from the first player to the last player on the grid taking the other steps and sometimes you can skip some of these steps. But we already did the first step. Check the gear you're in and making adjustments if you want. So I go from one to three which will cost me one heat. Now I can play because I'm in the third gear. I can play three cards. Also you want to cool down in this game. Cool down means you can put heat back from your hand into your engine. If I'm at first gear, I can during the race step, I can cool down three cards heat out of my hand into my engine. Or if I am in second gear, I get to cool down one card. But since I moved straight to gear number three, I have no cool down bonus anymore. But the gear is set, now we're going to play cards. And we're going to of course play cards that give me movement, so I will play these three cards. When you're playing with multiple humans, you will put them face down, so the opponents don't see what you're playing. But since I'm the only human player, I will play them straight, straight away. And once everyone is done, the player who is in the lead is the first player. As you can see on the track, one side has a fat line and the other has a thin line. The player on the fit line is in front of the player on the same space on the thin line. So in this case the outside of the corner is on in front. So the silver car has the pole position. And to see what the car is going to do, I will play these legend cards. I will flip it over. And as long as the legend drivers have not yet crossed the, the golden line with the golden helmet signal in the track in front of the next corner, they will move full speed if possible and then we'll check for the silver car in this case it will move 11 spaces and the next corner is over here and every section is counting down until the next corner so it's very easy to see how many spaces you need to get to the next corner silver the silver arrow will move 11 spaces it is now on space number 12 so we'll, we'll end on space number one and it takes of course the thick line so it's in first position over there then the black car is in second position it will move 15 spaces however it is on space number 12 so with a movement of 15 it would end beyond the corner but the corner has only a speed of 7 so that's not possible if the legend drivers have not yet passed the golden line they will never pass the corner in that case they will simply stop at the number that is above the driver. So in this case the black car will end its turn on space number 2. 
which is over here, right behind the silver one. Then it's blue's turn. Blue will move 13 spaces if possible. Well, it is at space number 13, so it gets straight to the front of the race on space zero before the corner. Then it's yellow's turn. Ye yellow will move 14, but it is on space 13, so it will not make its full move. Instead, it will end on number one. Next to silver. But since silver has the thick line, it is in front of the yellow car. Then it's green. Green will move 19 spaces, so it will definitely cross the corner, which is not going to happen, so it will end its movement in number three. And then it's finally my turn to move, and so we'll go through these steps one by one. First I move the number of spaces I have played with my cards, which is only six. So I will move from 14 to 8. If I was the last car on the track, if you're playing with up to 4 players it's only the last car. If you're playing with 5 or 6 players, like in this case, it are the last 2 cars. I will get 2 bonuses. 1. I will get an extra movement point, so I'm happy to take that. So I'll go plus 1. And also I get to cool down one heat card and I had some in my hand so I'm very happy to put one heat card out of my hand back into my engine. So step four is only for the last or last two cars. In the next step I can cool down if my gear allows me to but it doesn't and also I can take a boost if I want. Therefore I have to pay another heat and then I get to draw cards from my deck until I get one of my basic cards the ones from one to four. Since I'm very behind, I might think that's a good idea. There are also some cards with this boost effect, stress effect, but for now I will take a boost. So I pay one heat, unfortunately. And now I get to draw a card from my deck. If it has this symbol on it, it's a card from my base deck and I will use it straight away. If it was a card that, did, that has not this symbol, I would put it straight on my discard pile and draw a new card. So that also might be a nice way to skip some heat cards, because if you draw a heat card now, you can put it straight in your discard pile. But this one counts for now, and I will add another two steps to my movement. Then we get to see if I get slipstream, but to have slipstream, I have to be right behind another car or next to it. And there's one space, unfortunately, that is preventing me from getting slipstream. All the legend drivers don't do anything with heat or cooldown or slipstream, nothing at all. They simply move by the cart. Then we have to check if I have passed a corner and then you need to check if the speed of your movement isn't too high. But we haven't passed the corner yet, so we skip this gap. Then I get to remove cards from my hand if I want, but I can only discard the cards that don't have the forbidden trash symbol. But I can get rid of this card because it gives me no movement. So I'll discard this one, and for the final step, I will draw my hand back to seven. First I have to discard the cards I have played, and now I will refill my hand up to seven, so I get to draw five cards from my draw deck. So I still have three heat in my hand, but also four cards to move. One, one, three, and four. And that's the round, so now we're going to round number two. First card to go first, that is blue, so we draw a new card from the legend track. Now they have already passed the legend line, so, are they, so they are in front of the corner. Now they will simply move the number of the corner plus any additional numbers on this card. So the blue card will have speed 7, because this corner has a speed 7. Plus one, it will get to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you see the thick line is now going from the outside to the inside over here. Then is the silver car. That will go seven plus two is nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Next to it. Other cars are able to pass these cars, but if you should finish on a space that has both cars already in place, you will go to the first free spot available behind those cars. 
Also, yellow will move nine spaces. Two, four, six, eight. Oh, and now it will go to nine, but it can't, so it will stay behind over there. Then the black car, it will move seven plus one, so eight spaces. Two, four, six, eight. Then the green card plus three, so it will move ten spaces. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So they all stay together. And now it's my turn again. I am five spaces away from the corner, but I can only go past the corner in speed seven. I go, I can go faster, but for each movement point that I have too much, I will need to pay one heat. And since I only have two heat left, and because of this style we have to pay one heat additional when we pass the line too fast, I can go a maximum of eight, but that would cost me all my heat. Oh, I haven't played my card yet. Should have done that before we got to move the cards. Sorry. Um, but we'll stay in third gear because we need to get at least seven spaces. Because I want to get past this corner this time. But if I want to get to seven, I can't do that playing three cards. So I'll, sorry, I'll gear down one step for free. So I can only play two cards this turn, and I'll play a number three and a number four. So now we get to move the cars, and now we're going to move my car at step three. Seven spaces. I am on space number five. So five, six, seven. Since I'm the last car in the race, I get to cool down one card. I can take one movement for free, since I am the car last, but that would make me go faster. So then my movement would be eight, and I would go too fast through the corner, and I don't want that, because I don't want to take any more heat at the moment. So I'm also not going to take a boost action, because that will cost me one heat, and the movement the boost gives me will also cost heat. I have no slipstream, I have passed the corner with a speed of the number of the corner or less, in this case exactly seven. So we'll simply get to discard some cards. Well, we're on a straight line coming up, so I'm gonna, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of these two cards. These two heat cards I cannot discard. These get discarded and we'll draw another seven cards of up to seven cards, so five more cards. And this will be some high numbers, I hope. Here's my number five. Oh, and my stress cards. Okay, this could be interesting. I am not allowed to look at my discard pile. I can only see the top card of the discard. So, we're going straight to the next corner. And it's 90 spaces ahead to the next corner. I don't think I've seen number fours yet, so my guess would be if I play two of these cards, there will be number four cards. So I will move up one gear, so I can play three cards now, and I will play the five and two of these. Then we go to the movement phase. These cars are all behind the legend line, so will they go full speed, unless they should pass the corner. Blue is the first player to go 15 spaces, but it is on space number 13, so it will only move until number 2. Silver would move 17 places, that is not possible, so it will also end on number 2. The yellow car will move 18 spaces, that is not possible, so it will end at number 3. The green card will move 11 spaces, it is on space 14, so it will end on space number 3. They keep together. And the black car will move 10 spaces, it is now on 15, so it goes to 5, and it just crosses the legend line. This is actually kind of bad, and mostly what happens when I play solo. It would be perfect if they would end just before 
the legend line because then the next turn they will get to move only some spaces to the corner but now they go really really fast now it's my turn and i don't know how fast i am going for now for each of these stress cards i will have to draw a card from my deck just like the boost we took until we get a card that has the base symbol on it so in this case a number three that has the base symbol on it so that's for the first card and for the second card it must be a four yes it is a number four so my total movement is 12. i am on space number 19 so i go to space number seven this is actually really good because I was last card to move, so I'll get one cooldown, so I can move one heat back to my engine. But also I get one free movement. So over here. My gear doesn't give me another cooldown, but if I want I can take a boost to move another time. But I think it will be a number four card. And that would put me one, two, three, four over here. And then back to number two. So that would be kind of a waste. So I'm not going to do that. See, it was a number four. <laughs> but what I'm going to do is get some slipstream. Because I am right behind the black car, I get two movement points additional for the slipstream. So one and two. I only get one slipstream each round, so I'm not. So now ending up behind other cars doesn't give me additional uh, slipstream. But at least I'm no longer the last player. We did not cross a corner. I can remove cards from my hand if I want, but these two I cannot remove and the two I'm gonna keep because we need to slow down because there's a corner over here that only has a movement of three allowed. So these get discarded and we'll have to refill my hand up to seven cards. So this is four. Now my draw deck is empty. So I'll take the discard pile. Give it a shovel. And then draw new three additional cards. So. Oh, and this is a little problematic because we are four spaces in front of the corner, but we can cross the corner only at speed three. But I want to get across the corner, so I will be going too fast through the corner. But sometimes you just simply have to take some heat just to keep you going in the race. So we are in third gear, so we must play three cards. But then we could go way too fast because then we would, the minimal we can play is either seven. Or we can take a chance with this card and hoping we will get a number one. But I'd like to be a little sure. A little cautious. So I move back to second gear. So now I get to play two cards. I want to get past the finish line. One, two, three, four spaces until the corner. So we need to get five movement. Oi, oi, oi. But I can take one movement for free, because I'm one of the last cars. So I will take the two number twos. That will also give me the possibility to at least get rid of this heat card. Should I ever need to pay heat, but there's no heat left in my engine, then I will spin. I will need to add extra stress cars to my deck, depending on the gear I'm in. And then I will move, move back to first gear. But let's hope that will not happen. So my turn is set, time for the movement phase. They are all in front of the corner, so they will move the corner speed, which is three, plus the number above the helmet. Blue to go first, it will move three plus three is six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then it's silver moving only three. Again, unlucky that will put him just behind the corner line, you like to get them a little stuck up over here so they don't move too fast because next time they will move full speed again. 
Then next is yellow. Yellow will move 3 plus 2 is 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then we get to the green car. It will move 4. 3 plus 1. 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, I exactly passed it. Then it's me. Oh no. <laughs> this really, really sucks. Uh, no, it doesn't. It's okay. Sorry, I didn't say anything. It's okay. It's even kind of perfect. Uh, because I get to move four spaces. One, two, three, four. And I was like, I get a free movement, but I can't take the free movement space because the track is blocked in front of me. So therefore I was like, oh no. But then I think it's even better this way. Because of my gear, I can cool down one card from my hand. I cannot take the free step. I can cool down because I'm in that gear, but I don't have any heat cards anymore in my hand, so I cannot cool down. I'm not gonna boost because then I might go way too fast. But, and then I realized I get slipstream because I'm right behind the silver car. I get two movement space for free. And the movement space from slipstream does not count for the speed of the corners. So I get these really for free. So one, two, and now I'm even into third position. Now I need to check the corner speed. I went to the corner with four. Again, the steps from the uh, slipstream doesn't count. So I get four, past the corner with speed three. So I have to pay one heat for going too fast. The difference is one, so I have to pay one heat. Then I get to discard if I want, but I don't want that because we got some nice high numbers coming up. So I discard these cards and I will fill my hand up to seven, taking the top three cards of my draw deck. Quite all right, only one heat. And finally, it's the black car. It will move three plus zero is three. One, two, three. And this is nice because now it's still in front of the corner. So next time it will also move only three spaces plus the number. It will be above the helmet. Could be worse, could be better. Hey, I'm into third position, making progress. So we have a straight coming up. We'll move up to gear number three so we can play three cards. And you want to go fast this time. It's 14 spaces to the corner. So with this, we're already at 11 spaces. And the corner has a plus one, so it has a speed of four. Also in this section, it is free to take a boost action because of the track condition tile. I think we're gonna do that. Check. Check, movement phase. Car in front will move 17 spaces, but it is 12 spaces away from the finish, so it will end this move at number two. Yellow car is 19 spaces, but it has 14 to the, to the corner, so it will end this movement on number three. Now it's my turn. I will move eight plus three is 11. I am on 14, so I will end up on 3. I really do not want to cross the corner, because I go way too fast for that. But I have Slipstream again, getting it from both the yellow and the blue car. So I don't do the boost action. I cannot cool down and I don't get a free step, because I'm no longer one of the last cars. So the only thing I'm going to do is take my Slipstream, two spaces, because I'm next to a car or straight behind a car. One, two. Oh wow, I'm in front. I did not pass a corner yet. I do. I'll discard this card because I don't want to go too fast through the corner over there. And then I'll have to draw four new cards to make it up to seven. There's a one and a zero, so we won't go too fast, I think. Hope, we'll see. 
Then it's the silver car that will move 12 spaces. It is on 15, so it will end on 3. Then we have the green car. It will move 16, so it would cross the corner line. Therefore, it will end on number 2. So I'm still in the lead. And finally, the black car will move only the corner speed is 3, plus 1 is 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So there's a little gap right now. Let's see if he can come back or she. I need to make a picture of this. I'm in front and it's not even on camera, is it? Well, no, it is. I'm in front. Woo All right, we get to a corner with speed of four. And I am in third gear. I have some heat in my hand. So I guess we'll go down one gear. To number two. Oh, it's speed four, I mean, and over here we have speed three, so we don't want to go too fast at the moment. And if I can play two cards, I can play these two, and that will give me exactly four speed to cross the finish, uh, to cross the corner without any problem. Maybe I can take another boost now. All right. It's me to start now. Movement phase, four spaces. One, two, three, four. I guess they will catch up on me now. Four is exactly what's permitted, so no damage. I'm not one of the last cars. My gear will give me one cooldown, so one heat card from my hand into the engine. I'm not gonna take a boost action. I don't have slipstream, I have crossed the corner at exactly the right speed, so no penalty for that. I can remove cards from my hand if I want. I can keep this card in my hand because once I cross this corner line, it gives me the possibility to stay one gear higher, simply for playing this zero card. Uh, maybe I might want to keep it in case we get two high cards from the draw deck. So I will keep at four cards. These get discarded, and I will draw three new cards. Oh, there's the five. Don't want that now. A stress card and a number one. Okay, challenging. That was my turn. Unfortunately, now the other racers will take their turn. Going with blue first. It'll move four points, plus zero to four. The green car will move four plus one. So five, two, four will stay next to me, but I'm still in front. Then the yellow car, it will move five spaces next to the blue one. Then we have the silver car, it will move three plus three is six, two, four, six, but that place is occupied. So the next space behind it also occupied, so it will get stuck over here. That's kind of good, it loses two places it could have moved. Oh wow, I'm still in front. Did not see that coming. And we don't have to forget the black car over there. It will move 19 spaces, but it is in space number 14, so it will simply move to space number 3. The gap has been narrowed down. Now comes the hard part of this game. We're heading to a corner which has only speed 3. And I'm 5 spaces away from the corner. So if I want to cross the corner line, I need speed 6. That will cost me 3 heat because I'm going too fast. If I take no risk, I will end before the corner line. But then my next turn, I still need to pass this corner with only speed 3. And I think that will take too much time against the other drivers. So I guess I'm going to try to get into this space. So I'll need to move six spaces. It will cost me heat. But if I stay in second gear, I can also get rid of one heat. So. So. I'll play these two. I kinda don't like playing my number 5 now, because I prefer to use that on the sections where you can really fast, but I really want to cross the corner now. 
So we'll go for speed 6. Movement phase. I'm still in front. I will move 6 spaces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I'll take the inside corner to have the best spot on the track. I'm not last. I can get I can cool down one card because of my current gear. I'm not gonna take a boost action because then I go way too fast across the corner. I don't have slipstream. I pass the corner with speed three using six speed, so I have three speed too much. So I have to put three heat cards into my discard pile. I have to pay three heat. Then I can get rid of some cards, well only of the number one uh, of the number zero cards, because these I cannot discard. But I'd like to get some speed for now, because we have 23 spaces in front of us until the next corner. So I have only three. I can move this one also. So I have four cards left in my hand. Adding another three. I'm up to seven cards. The four cards behind me did not yet cross the legend line, thus they will go full force. So they will go full speed, but it's only five spaces to the next corner, so green will simply move to number one. Then it's blue, it will move to number two. Yellow will move to number one. Silver will move to number three. This is nice. Black has passed the legend line, so it moved the corner it's heading to is number four. Plus an, additional, plus an additional 3 is 7 spaces, 2, 4, 6, 7, and see, black made it back into the peloton. Well, so far this is my best game ever, but to finish first, first you have to finish, and for me it's always possible to still finish last. We're having a straight line for now, so we'll at least move up to number 3. So I'll play these two cards, and this might be a nice moment to play one of these. I can't pay one heat to take an additional movement, because I can gear up another one, but that will cost me one heat. Do I want that? Yeah, I want that. I still have three heat left, now only two. We'll move up another gear, so we can play another card, and I'll play another of these. So we're not sure how far we're going to move, but we're going to move as far as possible. Right, still in front, I will move 9 spaces at least, but we're going to add these two. My draw deck is empty, so I have to shuffle my discard pile. Let's hope we can discard a lot of heat now. And there's a lot of heat in this deck, so I'm pretty sure we'll be able to get rid of some. We'll start with this card, that will be a number 3. And then we'll get for the other card a heat card, so that get discarded straight away. Here, another and one, nice. And another 3, ooh, nice move. Right, so my total movement is now 15. I am at 23, so I will end on space number 8. Across the finish line, and we'll finish over there. One lap to go, final lap. Um, I have no cooldown. I can take a boost action, but that will cost me another heat. Uh, do I want that? No, I don't want that for now. I have no slipstream and I have passed no corner. So I can discard cards if I want, but I think I'll like to keep these. No, I don't want these because there's a fast corner coming on. So I'll remove the, well, I'll keep the two. Only remove the number one card. These get discarded. And I'll have to draw five new cards to make it to seven cards in my hand again. No heat cards, nice. Although they will be 
for sure in the next hand. So we have some possibilities now. Of course the other cars get to move, they are all in front of the corner, so will, they will move the corner speed, which is 3, plus the number above them. So the green car goes 3 plus 2 is 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The yellow car will move only 3, 1, 2, 3. The blue car will move only 3, 1, 2, 3. Three, just across the corner. The silver car will move five. One, two, three, four, and five. And finally, the black card will move four. One, two, three, four. Ah, he stays behind the corner. Just as he thought he was close, they are going away again. Look at the gap I have. Wow, we have 8 spaces to go till a corner that has speed 7, but if we go too fast across the corner we have to pay 1 heat extra. Should I go 9 spaces to cross the corner, that will cost me 2 heat for going too fast, plus 1 additional for the road condition, that would cost me 3 heat, and I only have 2 heat, so I am not allowed to cross the corner this turn. I will try of course to get as close as possible so ideal I would like to move eight spaces I am in fourth gear so with four cars if I play a number four a number two and two number ones I'm exactly at speed eight and I will stop in front of the corner line if you're hearing some music in the background apologies there's a festival starting close to my apartment and I guess it's about to start so time to move I'm still in front oh the gap I love this never happened before <laughs> I get to move eight spaces so I'll finish my turn right in front of the corner line which means at the next turn I still can move only seven but at least this doesn't cost me any heat no last position, no, no bonus from the gear and I don't want to do a boost, no slipstream, I did not pass a corner so I can get rid of cards in my hand if I want, but I don't want that, so I'll simply discard this one and draw 4 new cards, I'm afraid there might be some heat in over now, 2 heat, but some nice cards, a number 3 and a number 4, ok, then it's the legend drivers again, Oh, this card. Um, they have all passed the finish line, so full speed for green. It will move 10 spaces. It's on 20, so it will end on 10. Ooh, still just in front of the legend line over there. The yellow car oops, will move 15 spaces. It is on 22, so it will end on number 7. Oh, I'll take of course the thick line then the silver car will move 13 spaces 22 and 13 is 9 just past the legend line which is good because then it will move slower than as it has full speed and blue will move 14 spaces 23 minus 14 is also 9 And finally we have the black car that is in front of the corner, so it will move corner speed, 3 plus 2 is 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, on this side. Okay, okay, let's go, let's go, next turn, let's see if we can keep this distance between us and the cars behind us, so I can have at least a speed of 7, if I go too fast it will cost me an additional heat, I don't want that. So let's see if we can get to a movement of 7. I can get to 7 by playing these 3 cards. So I'll simply play these 3 cards. But therefore I need to gear down 
one so I can play three cards. So that's already it. Then we're going to race. I get to move first because I'm in front. Seven spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No bonus, no bonus. I don't take a boost. I have no slipstream. I did pass a corner in the right speed, so no problem. I can discard cards from my hand, but I don't want to discard the number four. So these go to my discard pile and I have to refill my hand. Four, I need three more cards, so I'll shuffle my discard pile again. Still need to get some sleeves because the cards get shuffled a lot. So three more cards. By the way, inside of the box, there are six cars, but they have space in it made for eight cars. So I'm assuming there will be some expansions coming that give another two cars and I guess another new tracks. I am cheating because I have two heat cards also in my hand, so I can only draw three cards and not five. Sorry. So these two back to my draw deck and now we get this. So this is my hand now. Three heat cards, one stress card. Two number fours and a number two and we are 14 spaces away from the next corner therefore we can only pass the corner using speed three so if possible we'd like to move 14 spaces but first let's see what the competition does the final card of this deck and then we'll simply reshuffle the deck and start again they are yellow is across the first three cards are across the legendary line so they move the speed of the corner which is seven and yellow adds another zero so it moves seven it is on seven so it will finish straight in front of the corner that is nice then it's silver silver will move seven plus one is eight it is on nine so it will end over here the blue one will move seven plus three is ten which will get it straight across the finish the corner line. Green is in front of the legend line, so it will go full force, 15 spaces. However, it is on space number 10, so it will move to space number two. And finally, number black is on space 19. It will move 16, so it will end on space number three. Again, it has closed the gap and is now part of the peloton. I have to reshuffle the legend deck. So all cars behind blue, the other four will move seven up to ten spaces. However, blue might get 18 or 19 steps. So there's still a challenge for me, even though I'm five spaces in front of blue. Uh, we decided we want to make 14 steps, if possible. That's going to be a little hard, and we're in third position, third gear. I think I'll go for two of these, and this one. I don't have that much options because I have those cards, but for here we have to slow down, and then we can get rid of some of these heat cards, I hope. And we still have some room to take some if necessary. So let's see how far we can get. We're going to move at least eight. Plus an additional, ha, nice. Plus an additional, the zero one does not have the basic symbol, so it goes straight to the discard pile. We have a number four. So our movement for now is 12. We are on space number 14, so we move to number two. Could be worse. I am in doubt if I want to take a boost action to have just one or two more steps because all fours are here the five doesn't count but if we get it number three card, and that's very possible no, i'm not going to take the risk this is it i'll keep my number two card because we need to slow down for the corner this one gets discarded and we'll draw another one two three four three cards So these are the four cards I can use in the next corner. 
where we can only pass through using speed number three. That was me. Then there is blue to go. Blue will go full force. It's on space 20. It moves 16, so it will go to space number four. Look, it's close to the gap. Uh oh. Although we all will move really slow because of that corner now. Uh, then it's yellow. Yellow is in front of the corner, so yellow will move only seven. Plus one is eight. One and a seven to go from 20 is 13. Silver will move seven plus three is 10. One, two, and then eight left is 12. Green will move seven plus one is eight. One, two, three, five left is 15. And finally, he's back, the car in black. Seven, seven plus three is 10. One, two, three, four, six left on number 14. He's not even last anymore. So now we have two riders in front and the pack is following. Right, what we're gonna do? We need to have at most speed three because uh, we can make maybe four wouldn't be that bad, but not more than that. So maybe speed four. I also like to get rid of some of these heat cards. So I'll gear down one. So we get into second gear. That will give me the possibility to get rid of one of the heat cards. So I need to play two cards and I want to get across the finish line with either speed three or four. Oh, now we even can get up to five. Let's do, f I want to get rid of the heat cards. Well, it first goes into my discard. Oh, what going to do? What are we going to do? Are we going to go speed three? Or going speed four. Well, it's just one space and it would cost me heat. So we'll go for three speed. We'll play a number two and a number one. All right, here we go. Three speed. One, two, three. Corner check. I'm not in last position. My gear gives me one cooldown so I can move one heat card back into my engine. I'm not going to take a boost because I just crossed a corner. I have no. Uh, slipstream and the speed of the corner is exactly what it needs to be so that's fine I can get rid of some cards but I'll keep these with the two heat I have four cards so I get to redraw three cards oh the number five that is very very nice so that's my turn here comes the pursuit uh, um, blue is across the legend line it will simply move three plus nice zero Ooh, this is really really nice so it moves only three spaces one two three aha and it still needs to cross the corner with speed three so this will give me the opportunity to increase the gap they are all in front of the line so they will move 15 if possible but silver cannot move 15 because he's on 12 so he will move to number two Yellow will move 10, it is on number 13, so it will finish on number 3. Black will move 12, it is on 14, so it will end on number 2. And finally, green will move 17, but it is on 15, so it will end on number 2. But number 2 is occupied, so it will move the first available space behind that. This is really funny, one space between me and the others who are all together. And this is very good for me because they all have to move three plus at most three additional space. So at most they get to move six. I have already passed the corner so I can get full steam ahead. Plus in this section we get a free boost. So I'm guessing we're going to move up to gear number three. We're going to play our highest available cards. And then we can play a free boost when it's the time for that. 15 spaces and 15 spaces to go to the next corner, so we can boost without any risk. My turn starts, I'm the first player. We'll move 10 for now, so we go to space number 5. We are not last, I don't get a heat from my current gear, but I want to take a boost. 
Usually you pay one heat to pay the boost, but in this section the boost is for free, so I get simply to draw a card for free until I get a basic card, a heat card. Nice, I like to draw the heat card. Oh, only a one, that's a pity. But still, we're getting there. We are now four spaces ahead of the corner and the corner speed is four. So with a movement of five, we only get one penalty and get across the corner line. I'll keep these two cards because we don't want to go too fast now. These get discarded, four cards in my hand. So I draw a new three cards. Oh, <laughs> exciting. That was me. Then go the others. Blue is first. They are all in front of the corner. So we'll move the space of three because the corner is speed three. And blue will add another three. So it will stay in front of the race of the pack. Is six spaces. Two, four, six. Then it's the silver car. It will move three plus one is four. Two, four. The black car moving. Uh, 3 plus 2 is 5, 2, 4, and it goes into third position now. Just when you thought it would be hopelessly the last car, it's getting to the front of the pack. The yellow will move only 3, and it is on space 3, 1, 2, 3, so that's good. It will stay in front of the corner line, and the green car will move 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, next to silver. All right, all right, next turn. We are in third gear, but we can only move four spaces. I think I'm gonna slow down for a moment, playing only two cards. I need speed five to cross the corner. So I will take these two cards. And we still have these cards, but we can get rid of some heat because we are in second gear. So I will move five spaces. That will put me straight across the finish line. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. My gear will give me one cooldown, so I can move one card from my hand to my engine. However, when we do the speed check, because I don't get any slipstream, I went through the corner using speed 5, where it's only 4 allowed, so 1 speed too many, giving me 1 heat to pay. But at least I've crossed the corner. Uh, I'll keep my 1, because we're going to a really slow corner, but after that it's full force to the finish line. I have 4 cards left in my hand, so with this one I have 5, and now I need to draw 2 more cards from the discard pile. Oh, are we gonna win it? It's looking so good. But now these cars get close, really close. But then they still need to go through the corner speed four. So let's keep hoping. Oh, <laughs> we go really too fast for now. We need to slow down because it's only speed number three. Well, maybe with some stress cards, we can take some gamble. Um, that was my movement, so now the other cars get to move, of course. Uh, the blue card will move 14 spaces, it is on space 11, so it will move to the space number 1. Look, right behind me. The black car moves 17, but it is on 13, so it will move to number 2. Still behind blue. Then silver is first. Silver will move 13 spaces, it is on 14, so it will move to space 1. And then we have green, green will move 10 spaces, it is on 14, so it will move to space 4. And then finally yellow has to cross the corner, so it has a speed of 3, plus 2 is 5. 1, 4 to go, makes it over here. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So, I'm already across the corner, so the other players will move at most 6. It is 7 spaces until the next corner, but we're only allowed to go to this corner with speed number 3. I cannot go too fast to that corner, because that would cost me 4 heat at least. 
So we're simply going to move as close to the corner as possible. So I want to move seven spaces. I am in second gear, so I can play two cards. So I could simply move like this. But then I've lost some high valued cards. I am tempting, tempted to play a 3, a 1. And maybe this card. And see if we can get close to the finish line while staying in third gear. So I keep my hard cards and we can go very fast. Although then we still need to go very slow for the corner. Ah, what to do, what to do? Oh, we need to go so slow through that corner. I might want to spend some higher cards just in case. And we'll stay in this gear so we can cool down one more card. Yeah, I don't like to, sp ah, I don't like this. But I think it's the best option. Or I play it like this. Then at least we get five movement. The chance for a number four are small because I have already two fours here in play. If we get the number three, we get to seven. And if it's less, it's still okay because we need to cross the corner in speed three. Let's take a little gamble. And we can maybe take a boost if we're really, really too slow. Nah, this will be okay. And we stay in second gear, so my I have one heat card left in my hand that will get removed. So let's see how this will go. A little gamble. We're going to move. We're going to move. Four and a plus symbol. It's a five. Oh, that's a bummer because I really want this card in my hand, but it doesn't have the basic symbol. And there's a number three. I love it when a plan comes together. We move seven spaces. which is right across in front of the corner. That is good. So we're not going to do anything else besides getting the bonus from the gear. And my final heat card goes back into the engine. So we might take even a little gamble for the next corner. Um, I do need to keep this one in my hand because I need to go really slow. And the three and the four, of course, I'm going to keep. So simply adding three new cards to my hand. Oh, I missed the number five. I hope it's not costing me victory. Oh, and now we get a zero card. And oh, this is a useless, use, useless hand. We'll see. For now, it's up to the others. They are all in front of the corner, except for yellow. With speed four, so blue will go four, and that's it. One, two, three, four. To make it just in front of the legend line. The silver car will move 4 plus 3 is 7. 2, 4, 6, 7. Oh, they're right behind me. I was so far in front. Um, then the black car gets to move 6. 3 over here. Oh, just in front of the legend line. Then we get green. 3 plus 1 is 4. Oh, it will stay just in front of the corner, that's good. And yellow is full speed going 12, but it is on space 11, so it will end on space number one. All right. <sighs> what am I gonna do? I really need full speed for the next turn, for this turn. I want to try to keep it at speed number three. Although I am allowed to pay some heat, of course. I have four heat in my engine. So I could theoretically go through this corner using speed seven. Well, at least I want to get past this corner. Can I do this? I think there are a lot of ones and twos 
in the deck still. I'll get rid of my one. And then this one. I'll move up to gear three, so I get rid of this zero card in my hand. So oh, this one keeps in my hand. And now we'll see what movement we will get, but we'll still have a nice movement for the next turn. Yeah, let's see what happens. So my movement is one plus an additional card. Oh, it's another one. So I only move two. Ooh, this might be a little problem. Oh, I go so slow. And once they press this line, they will go very fast. I guess I'm going to take a gamble. I still have one speed left to go. So I'll pay one heat to do a boost. Oh, this is really a gamble. As long as it's not a card number four, I should be all right. It's a heat. It's a two. So I move two more spaces. So my movement is now four. The corner is three, so I go one too fast. I have to pay one more heat. That's it. These go to the discard pile. I want to keep these cards because they are fast. I have four cards in my hand, so I get to draw three more cards. Ooh, a four, that's good. But the twos, not so good. Okay, that was me. Then the others go, moving speed three. And silver has plus one, moves four to four. Still in front, but now they go really fast. The black car will move. Uh, three plus one is four. One, two, three, four. So he's no danger because he's straight in front of the corner. The blue one will move 17, but that's not possible, so we'll go to number two. This is really nice. Green will move four plus two is six. Two, four, six. And the yellow one will move the speed of the corner four plus three is seven. Two, four, six, seven. It would end here, but it's occupied, so we'll move here. On the other track, there are some tight corners. It is possible that a legend driver would pass two corners in one turn, but they are not allowed to take two corners in one turn. So it would take only one corner, and then for the second corner, it would take the first space available in front of the corner. Just so you know. So this will be the final round. It will be either me or the silver car, so Ferrari or Mercedes, to cross the finish line first. If I'm the only player to cross the finish line, of course, I am the winner. If multiple cars get across the finish line in the same turn, the car that will go furthest ahead is, of course, the winner. Once you pass the finish, you don't care for corners. Even if there's a corner three just around the finish, you can pass it with speed 20. It's just to get to the finish now. So we'll go full force. We move up to fourth gear. We have two number four cards. My five card is still in there, so I can play this number three card. That will give me 11 movement. And it's only eight movement to the finish line. So we're gonna get to the finish anyway. However, on these, these cards are cars that are going with speed 19 at most. However, at most, I think it's 19, yeah. If we have bad luck, the silver car will move 19 spaces. Let's do a little meta gaming. If it moves 19, it needs two more to cover our distance. We have two spaces in front, so we need to get to 17. And I'm only at 11, and this will make it 13. I can take a gamble and hoping I would draw the number three cards maybe four but it can also be a number one and if i play this one oh now i really want to check which i'm not allowed to check my discard pile 
is there still a number four in my I think there's still a number four in here at least one number three. Oh, this can be decisive gonna take a gamble with the possibility of getting number ones over here although I think we used a lot of number ones in the tight corners well YOLO let's hope we get a number three or maybe a number four instead of a number two let's see let's see how far we go my turn I'm in front so I move 11 plus beat plus <laughs> a number one oh there was still a number three. <sighs> oh wait I can take a oh wait I can still take a boost no nothing on the no worries I was not allowed to look at this sorry I think we're safe by the way because I forgot we can take a boost action moving Three times four is 12. We are at number 20, so we move to spot number eight. And we are at least across the finish. No bonus for being last, no bonus for my gear, but I have still heat in my engine, so I simply take a boost action. And I can draw cards until I get a basic card. Hey, I get the basic card. And I can move three more spaces. And that's all that is to it. That is my final position for this game. I am across the finish. Will it be enough? The silver car, I'll take the front position of the track, of course. The silver car needs to move to 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17, 18 or 19 to win. It moves 17. Hooray! 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. And it will get next to me. But I have the front position of the space on the track. So I am the winner. Huzzah! And then, of course, the other cars get to move because we get past the finish line. Or cars will be removed from the track and the other drivers will still compete for being 3rd, 4th, 5th and 6th place but since I'm the only human player I don't really care for that anymore and for me the race is finished and this is my first solo win hurrah and so this is how to play heat how to play with adding legend drivers to the track in this case all five of them because I'm simply playing solo and some road condition tiles along the track that give bonuses or penalties for special for specific corners or actions and because of the weather you have some little change in the starting position of your cards in this case I had to add already three heat cards into my deck I'm a little surprised that I win like I said my previous two solo games I finished all the way at the bottom of the ranking I think mostly you have to be lucky that the legend cars don't get across the corner line in one move but, but need two turns to cross the corner line because that really will slow down their speed just like it does with my speed but the corner speed will always be lower than the speed they get when they can go full force but that's it for now if you have any questions about heat pedal to the metal or maybe about the legend module you just saw please feel free to ask them in the comments below my name is david thank you for watching and hope to see you next time